Hey and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm heading off on a night ride and I thought why not why not film it? So it's something a bit different on the channel. It's not something I'm going to do regularly but I thought I might as well put it out there and, and just give you a bit of the, the night riding experience. There's been a lot of questions recently in forums, Facebook pages about night riding given we're in the middle of winter what kind of lights people would recommend. So I thought I would just show you my lights quickly and then we can we can just take it out on the, the trails. Wee Tam is not joining us. Night riding is just not his cup of tea, which I totally get. Going out in the dark in the middle of winter is not going to be enjoyed by everyone. But I personally, I love it. It just, it adds this whole other dimension to your riding. And you think you know a trail and then you hit it in the dark and it's like, well, it's just, uh, oh, it's, it gets sketchy at times, uh, but it gives you a good buzz. So I'd love to hear from you as well. If you're watching this, do you night ride regularly? Do you do it now and then? Or is it is it not for you? It's always good to try and keep the, the riding up in winter, however you, you do it. Um, so I'd, I'd love to hear what people got up to on the bikes. So yeah, I'll show you my lights and then we'll, we'll get going. I should also excuse the mess if you're thinking, oh my god, look at her room. We, we're heading off to the recycling centre soon. So this is my wee box that I keep all my lights in. I use a, a bar light and a, a head torch. When I started night riding a few years ago, I used the, just the cheap Cree lights off eBay and they did me okay for, for my local rides where it wasn't too techy, um, it wasn't too fast, but when I started riding in, in early then etc, it just wasn't doing it for me. The, the spread of light wasn't, I didn't find it enough personally and I've seen them fail a few times and it, it's not it's not pretty. <laughs> so I, I invested a fair bit last year and got, um, and got myself some new ones. So, on the the head, on my head, I have an exposure joystick. I think it's about a thousand lumens, and obviously wireless as well, which is great. It's got a few different modes. Um, usually, don't don't put it in a, a mode that's too strong when I'm pedaling. Uh, it's pretty light, and I've actually just attached it to a GoPro mount to to slide into the helmet because I broke my my other mount. <laughs> on the bars, I went for something stronger. Um, so this is actually from Chain Reaction, it's their own brand I think. It's a Lifeline Pavo, 2000 lumens and it's amazing. I was actually blown away by it. It was between this and a Lazy Mega Drive for me. So yeah, it's got loads of, loads of light and it spreads really wide so it actually lights up all sides of the trail. I, I Honestly, I love it. Um, so I thought if I have something stronger in the bars and then just something a bit less on the on my head to, to just kind of use as a sort of spotlight if I'm, I'm looking another direction it's a it's a good combo and it works works for me so yep let's uh let's take them out the trails and you'll you'll see what they're like and uh, get some get some night riding in Okay, so that's us up at the trails and just doing a wee dark lap of the jumps, as you do. <laughs> <laughs> Got a wee bit wonky there. Oh, that was fun. So out of the trails, just approaching the, the top before we descend. Got the lights in the the lowest mode here. So it's actually still pretty bright as you can see. Um, whack them up for the, the descent, which I'm kind of looking forward to. Right into a natural trail now. If I can see it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Which is just a bit different. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Sorry, I put my front wheel on that route. Wet routes in the dark, eh? Hey? <laughs> Why not? <sighs> so a little different to, to Spooky Wood that we just did. I'm not sure if I had the angle right in the camera on that last one, so see how that comes out. Right, 
continue it. Ooh, oh, we're almost down. Oh my gosh, it's getting really slidey actually. Back wheels are all over the place now. It's been raining for like hours. Ah. Right into the box. Oh, puddles. So different riding this at night. Oh. oh gosh, all over the place. Ah! Oh, sorry. Oh my god, I almost went down. Just again, I put my front wheel on it to the side, and it just washed. Oh. I got a fright. <laughs> I got a real fright. Yeah, it's my <laughs> Take the inside. Back just skidded around that. Oh, it's like, how much do you let off the brakes when you can't see that far ahead? God, unintentionally the bars turned to the side in the last job. <laughs> I feel a wee bit like dodgy in the bike today. Yeah, I had a bit of I a don't feel. <laughs> yeah. It seems quite fast though for a night. Yeah, I think it was fast. It did feel fast. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm stunned by that, I don't think Yeah. Woohoo! Whoa! Oh, really? I quite, I quite like that line. Whoa! And out we go. Right, into the scary one now. <laughs> right, there's one bit in this I am not looking forward to. It's like a, a shoot between the trees. You've seen it on probably one of my videos when it was dry. Where the hell am I going? <laughs> uh, during the day. Okay, up here we go. Here we go. Nope, it's not here. It's the next bit. Or maybe it's this bit. It just looks different. Ah, it's so much better in the dark. How the hell? I think this better in the dark. That's just wrong. Uh, I think sometimes you just build stuff up in your head too much and then you can actually see it properly. It freaks you out. Oh man, okay, this is so weird. We're down already. Oh, awesome. Oh, so pleasantly surprised that went well. But hey, got Louise here as well. Oh. Yay! That was fine. That was totally fine. Do you want to go ahead or do you want me or? Mm, you, you go for it if you want, yeah. Oh God. Oh no. <laughs> Trying to make it up that last bit of hill. Right, that's us just in the final section of trail now. Back down to the, the car park. It's been a pretty good night ride. I actually really enjoyed the natural stuff. I was a little bit nervous, but I actually found it somehow less scary than in the dry. I think it could be because I'm riding up a bit slower. So not been out for too long tonight, but the light actually lasts for ages. I think I can, uh, I don't know, I've been out, probably most I've been out on it. It's been about three, four hours and yeah, no problems at all. So I don't fancy testing its full ability and getting stuck. 
having a bike wash here. So that's me, me back home. That was, that was really good fun. I enjoyed that a lot. I'm hoping the, the footage has come out all right. Never really know how it's going to be with it being night and everything. So fingers crossed for that. I hope it's good. I even managed to, to almost top my PR on one of the, the last natural trails there. I have no idea how that happened but sometimes when you're just in the zone and you're you're just following that, that line of light you end up riding a bit faster. <laughs> I will drop a link below in the description to the, the specific models of the, the lights I was using there for anyone that's interested and I'd probably say I've got the, the exposure joystick on the helmet and it's fine I've got a, a stronger light in the bars and that is just like a complementing light but if I could go back I probably would have chosen the, the slightly stronger one, the, the Diablo, um, just for that, for that extra bit but I guess where, where do you stop? <laughs> So yeah, hope hope that's been been good and I will catch you soon.